Back here at NSUSpartans.com, our weekly coaches show with interim head coach Brandon Duvall. And Brandon, MEAC tournament is pretty much all that's left now in the season. How do you guys, how can you guys put a good stamp on this season at the tournament? I mean, aside from just saying, well, we like to win it, but where, where do you feel like, you know, you can kind of put a good uh, exclamation point on the season here at the tournament? Well, we put ourselves in a, in obviously a good situation, but, you know, we've been to the tournament for a couple of years now. You know, it used to be a point in uh, Norfolk State history where, you know, before, you know, when they didn't have the tournament and then they brought in, you know, the way they organized the uh, North and the South now, you know, Norfolk State wasn't going to make the tournament. Um, they were one of the bottom teams in the conference. And now, over the last three or four years, we've been in the conference tournament. So, you know, it's nice to say, hey, we made it, but we've been doing that. So now to, to put a stamp on, you know, Norfolk State Volleyball and kind of showcase where we're going is to go in and actually win in the first round. I mean, mm -hmm. we, want to, we want to improve on what we've already done. Now, we have, we've done that, you know, instead of going in as a fourth seed, we're now going as a third seed and actually had a good chance of going into as a second or, or a first seed, depending on how things worked out in the last couple, the last two matches of the year. And, uh, and so we put ourselves in a good situation, didn't fall in our favor uh, against Florida a and but you know, we're going in as a third seed, so we have a better chances. We're playing Delaware State, who we played before, and um, you know, we played them very competitively, and hopefully we've improved over the season as we've gone along. And you know, the, the best thing for us right now is to be able to go in, perform, be competitive like we always want to be, and even and win the first round, at least the first round. I think that would be a good step up for this program. Looking back at the season, you know, you still got the season going, but just looking back, do you guys feel like you've met expectations this year or exceeded them, or where have you been? I think a little bit of both. I think we've exceeded expectations, meaning we've, you know, we always want to improve on what we did last year, and we've done that and some, we've improved. Um, but I think where we really exceeded expectations is just how the comfort level of the girls in this program. I think they, they're way more relaxed, they have a better understanding of what we need out of them, um, you know, and, and they're way more uh, responsible for what they're, um, you know, what, what they're required to do here. Um, you know, they, they're very good students. We have very, very good quality students on our team. Um, when it comes to the little things like getting your, your training in and, and rest and, and um, you know, going, meaning going to see the trainer and everything, mm -hmm. they do that. They're all in there in force. You know, the trainer almost has to tell them, like, okay, let me get you one at a time. Um, so, you know, they're, they get it. They're starting to get it. And, and it's fun for me because it takes a lot of pressure off me having to look at the little things of the program, mm -hmm. little things that the girls are actually handling them themselves. And I, and I can look at, you know, you know our opponents and, and our schedule and working on X's and O's and things like that while the girls are really kind of running things and, and driving the bus is what we like to say. Yeah, it takes the pressure off you having to worry about that stuff. You yeah. just worry about what coaches really should be worried about. So. Absolutely. Well, one of those players this year who's, well, not just this year, but previous oh, couple wow. of years who's been uh, who's been kind of the uh, person that helps, has helped drive that, uh, junior captain Nicole Kessner, we had a chance to sit down with her and uh, talk about what she thought about the season so far this year. Well, now we're here with uh, Nicole. And Nicole, we interviewed you at the, before the season started, and you kind of said, you know, you set what the expectations were, you know, you guys wanted to kind of, you knew you're not going to come in right away and win the conference. I mean, you still have a chance to do it, but that's... It's kind of tough to go from you know fourth in the division and to win it, but you guys had a lot of expectations. And do you guys feel like you've kind of met those expectations this year so far? Yes, I do. We have come a long way from going. What was our record last year? Four and you, four, something like that. Uh, no, you were three and five in the MEAC. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we definitely did. We went from having a losing record to a winning record. I think as a team, chemistry-wise, we're just way beyond what we had last year, and I think we're going to do good in the MEAC. Where, where are you guys, where do you think has been the biggest, maybe not say improvement, I guess biggest improvement, but also maybe the biggest surprise, something you guys either on, off the court or on the court you guys have done well that you, maybe you weren't expecting to do that well, I mean anything. I think um, we're actually all friends off the court. If you had talked to us last year, most of us didn't talk at all off the court and we pretty much would ignore each other and if we weren't ignoring each other we were spreading rumors which was totally fun. <laughs> But this year, yeah, our freshmen came in and molded really well with the core group that we had. And the core group did a really good job of making sure the freshmen knew what their places were and making them feel like a family. Is that kind of something where now you can build off of that, even just, you know, off the court and on the court with the season you've had? You know, you're, you're on 13 and 19 so far. Probably a few wins, you should, or a few losses that should have been wins, you yeah. know, even just two of them, then you're 15 and, what, 15 and 17. So, I mean, is that something you guys can kind of build off of? as you get to go to the tournament this weekend, but also as you go into uh, 
you know, next spring when you go into spring practice and stuff. Yeah, I think our record shows that what we did this year was really good and it was a positive reinforcement of what we should keep doing what we're doing. And that if we stop and being a family and keeping it together like glue, then we're going to go back to the three and five versus the five and three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At least that, so. So you guys have, you know, just be, everyone's basically back next year. Even uh, Tracy, uh, Tracy Copper, who didn't play this year, she's going back for her senior year. Plus you'll have a few more new faces in there, um, you know, depending on who comes in next year. You guys probably at least, you know, it's, we don't want to look too far ahead, but you guys got to be excited that, you know, we're going to be able to build off of this year and, and for next year. We are. We're really excited. Last year, I think we had two players from on the court returning, and this year we're going to have all six mm -hmm. be able to grow on that. I think we'll definitely be able to maybe even take the Southern Division and go in first seed. What, what do you guys think you need to kind of do at this tournament and then, you know, to build momentum into next year? Aside from just saying, you know, we like to win it. You know, yeah. Like to win um, it, just... I think we need to go in blue collar, working hard, making sure we make a statement with teams, showing that we're in New Norfolk State, we come in, we're not gonna go out 3-0, like we usually did mm -hmm. in the last two years, that we're gonna go in fighting, and if we're gonna lose, then we're definitely gonna have them remembering us. Like I'd say that's probably the biggest thing, is just that they remember you next year, like, oh yeah, Norfolk State went 5-3, and three. they almost beat you know, Delaware State, or whoever, yeah. you know, whoever they lost to in the tournament, this is a team that could be reckoned with next year, absolutely. Definitely. So, well, let's, that was uh, junior Nicole Kessner, so let's go back and hear more from Brandon. Well, that was junior captain there, uh, Nicole Kessner, who next year will be a senior captain. And, and big emphasis uh, when I was talking with her was everyone's going to be back next year. You guys are really going to be able to, especially, you know, once the uh, MEAC tournament's done, you're going to be able to use kind of the momentum from this season, mm -hmm. take it into spring practice, and it's like, oh, it's all the same people, everyone knows each other, it's going to be a whole lot easier than, say, maybe years past where you've had new faces. So, I mean, that's got to be, for you guys, that's got to be something that's really kind of, you know, as a coaching staff, you're really kind of excited about that a little bit. Absolutely. I mean, this year we've got in the personnel that we need to be competitive. Um, you know, we're still going to be looking to pull in some recruits who, uh, who can still help this program, some girls with experience, girls with, the, you know, with ability, and um, girls that understand what it's like to work hard. And if you mix that kind of athlete in with the group that we have now, um, I mean, it's, it's, the sky's the limit for us. I mean, they're yeah. very, they've, they've improved so much mentally. Um, physically, of course, you're going to. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a little wear and tear at the beginning of the year because a lot of these girls weren't used to what it's like to be playing at the college level and, you know, playing every single day and practicing every single day and traveling and it's it's nonstop. Um, you know, they're going to get some time off here during the holidays. Uh, let register things will register a little bit, and then we'll get back in the spring, um, and that's when we really get to work is in the spring because we get to work on, you know, the technical side of things. You know, yeah. we're we're working on a lot of tactical stuff here during the fall which is tough when you're a freshman coming in, you know, and, you know, you, you've been used to the programs where you've been doing a lot of passing, mm -hmm. a lot of setting, a lot of little tweaking of this and that, and you, you kind of don't have that kind of time when you're in your competition season. Yeah. So when we get into the spring, get them in the gym, we'll work a lot more on technique, work a lot more on our philosophy on how we like things done. Um, so those girls will get a little bit stronger there, and then we bring in some quality freshmen right behind them. Um, next year should be a fantastic year. Not to look past this year, because yeah, we still got some good. some good things coming for us, and, mm -hmm. and I know the girls are about as prepared as we're ever going to be. But you know, it's going to be nice to build on what we've already done this year. Yeah, and uh, you know, with the tournament coming up, uh, we said earlier, it's, it's good to kind of put a good stamp on the season by doing, uh, even if you just win one match, it's better than you've done recently. But you know, I mean, looking at it. You know, like you saying, the girls, some of them just weren't used to the grind, just weren't used yeah. to the travel, you know, maybe still getting used to the travel, you know, right. you guys doing a collegiate season. Now that's kind of, I don't want to say we put behind you, but, you know, now it's like, oh, we know how to do this stuff now. I mean, we're, what's the next step that you guys need to take as far as just on the court or off the court or, or anything like that? Um, maybe in something you can maybe kind of look at at the tournament, like let's see if we can do this at the tournament and that'll give us some good momentum going into the spring. Um, you know, just... That's a good question. That's a tough one to answer. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, what we what we want to do is, you know, we want to make sure we go on very prepared for this tournament, mm -hmm. and uh, and really just not making excuses for our play. Um, you know, we've got some girls who like to hear and there, make an excuse for why things don't work out the way they do, and sometimes you just gotta let them know that that's life. Yeah. You know, sometimes you're not gonna perform. You know, not everybody has a great day all the time. We would like all of them to. That would be yeah. great. Um, but I think what we want to make sure we do is, and that's what we've been working on the last couple of practices here before the tournament, is just get consistent and um, and mentally, you know, be tougher. Be tougher. Don't don't shy away from making the big play. 
Um, you know, sometimes you're going to make mistakes. Mistakes you tell them mistakes are necessary if you're going to improve. Yeah. And um, you know, you don't want to shy away. And if we can go into this tournament, and, and probably the biggest pressure situation a lot of these girls have ever been in, um, if we can go into this tournament nice and relaxed and, and work on our consistency. Once we get in the spring, that's all you're doing is working on consistency. Mm -hmm. It's contact after contact after contact after contact. So, you know, going in, if we if we perform the way we know we we, we are able to, um, and and perform with consistency, regardless of what happens, we should be we'll be proud. And then going in the spring, the girls will be nice and relaxed and ready to work on the technical stuff that, you know, uh, that kind of failed us a little bit this year during the season. Yeah, and it's, and a lot of times too, whatever you do at the end of the season does sometimes can have a carryover effect. So if you right. struggle. You know, you kind of have that negative perception heading into the spring, you know, or, you know, even into the break and into the spring. But if you right. win a match and you perform well in a second match, which could potentially be against Florida A and M again, right. you know, you, if you take them to five sets, you know, it's like you re that really kind of builds momentum and almost gets them like, we don't want to, we don't want this off season. Who cares about Christmas? Let's get back into the and the girls. The, the girls have seen like what we can do. They they. We're, you know, we watch a lot of video on ourselves. You know, a lot of times you, you want to scout your opponent, and we do definitely do that as coaches. We'll watch video, but for our girls, we have them watch themselves as much as possible mm -hmm. um, to get an idea of what they look like on the outside. And and um, and we've seen ourselves play some fantastic volleyball. I mean, we play some high-level, fast, aggressive volleyball, mm -hmm. which is my style. And uh, they see it, and they know we're capable of doing it. Finding the way to do it more often against teams like Florida and who make who make very little mistakes. I mean, yeah. they're the first set. I think when we played them this past time, uh, I think they made only one error in the first set. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's um, that's nowhere near where we've been playing. So yeah. if we can match that kind of uh, consistency, um, yeah, won we'll the season on a great note. And who knows? I mean, we could we could really. Uh, shatter expectations and make it to the tournament. I mean, it's anybody's ball game at this point because UMES is, is a great team. Delaware State's way up there, and uh, Florida A&M and everybody in the tournament can make some noise right now. And uh, we want to be one of those teams. Yeah, it's kind of open this year. You just don't really know who. Which who is a good thing. It. You know, yeah. I mean, nobody's going in with any preconceived notions. Everybody knows that everybody in our conference is beatable, mm -hmm. and um, all you have to do is come in and play and be consistent and be aggressive and not make excuses. Yep. I said the Spartans uh, last weekend of the uh, of the season at the MEAC tournament. It's going to be up at Coppin State. It'll begin Friday at 7 p.m. against uh, Delaware State, and if they advance, they'll play Saturday championship matches, obviously on Sunday. So Spartans will look to uh, kind of put the season on a good note there, and the season on a good note. They've had a decent season so far, 13 and 19 overall, most wins, second most wins ever as a Division One program. So for all your information on NSU volleyball and all information on NSU Athletics, tune in to NSUSpartans.com.